Zuzana Shtevolovna, like all of us, has borne witness to the catastrophe unfolding in Syria and to the plight of the millions of refugees streaming from its ancient lands. But she hasn't just spoken words about the crisis. She's doing everything that she can to help. As chairperson of the Human Rights League in Slovakia, Zuzana is providing legal aid and services to migrants and refugees in administrative detention, expulsion, and asylum proceedings. In so doing, she reminds all of us that the true test of justice is its fairness to those who have the least. Zuzana Stevulova, for your determination to stand up for the rights of refugees in Slovakia, in supporting the integration of all and the full acceptance of migrant communities, we honor you as a woman of courage. Anna Stevulova from Slovakia. Ambassador Russell, my fellow Avardis, dear guests, we are very honored that you came today to celebrate this special moment with us. Now, Fatimata and me, uh, we have a task to speak on behalf of uh, our group, and believe me, it's not an easy one even for a courageous woman. <laughs> <laughs> Courage. It's the word we have been uh, hearing uh, a lot uh, today, and uh, even me, I have been uh, getting a lot of questions over the last couple of days about what makes me courageous. In fact, uh, I don't really uh, recognize myself as, as being especially courageous, and uh, I had, uh, thanks to my job, a pleasure and opportunity to meet a lot of people I actually believe uh, showed uh, extraordinary courage in their, work, in their life. I am talking about refugees, about men, women, and children who face the horrors of war, persecution, and terror, who take the perilous journeys to the safety, and often uh, face family loss or family separation. Those people come to our communities. They are trying to find the peace and stability and to establish their new life. And very often, unfortunately, they are met with uh, threats they are feared of, and uh, they are met with very many obstacles and barriers. Nevertheless, the people I had the opportunity to meet actually had enough courage and strength to set up their new life in our communities and became valuable members of the society and even role models for many of us, not only for their fellow refugees. So I'm talking, for instance, about the ex-Afghan refugee who is now a citizen of Slovakia, and he courageously delivers humanitarian aid and drives volunteers who are helping to stranded refugees in Greece. Or about the young female Somali refugee who is an employee of my office and who actually devotes a lot of her time uh, not only to work in my office but also to help to her fellow refugees to settle down in our community and society and to find their new lives there. So those people actually and their courage, strength and stories are great inspiration for me and inspire me uh, to advocate uh, for them, for their voices to be heard, to be included and to be listened to. And then we have those uh, fellow Avardis of mine who are standing next to me or behind me. And you, uh, just a few minutes ago, you have heard uh, Secretary Kerry talking about the amazing strength and courage all of these women are having. I can't even express my words how impressed I am by all the work you have done and by your personalities as I had the possibility to meet you all and get to know you over the last three days. So this brings me to the case of an ordinary person, a small town girl like me coming from a very small country uh, like Slovakia who is standing now in front of you on the stage uh, among the other honorees. And I would like to tell you today that actually th there's no need for you to suffer or to be a lawyer to stand up for what is right, for what is just, and for what is fair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
So I actually believe that our shared commitment to the human rights, rule of law and democracy is everything we need to overcome the fear and make the difference. Because as Margaret Mead once said, it, uh, a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens is all it takes to change the world. So I would like to invite each one of you now here to join me and fellow Avardis with courage and to formulate, to form this small group. Thank you. Thank you.